Hey what's up guys, today in this video let's look at the edit and delete functionality of patients. In the last video I showed you how I created the entire form and the backend around adding a patient. Now in this thing let us look at how we can have a view and the delete functionality. Now obviously in both these cases the backend code is going to be pretty straightforward like we have seen in the locations as well but then the front end implementation is a little interesting and that's why I think it is a good idea to get ready first with the delete functionality. So in the delete functionality what I have done is I made a small change. If you remember in the last video when we were deleting the locations if I go to this particular page if I try to delete initially it was coming as a model pop-up but then I saw this confirm pop-up component int and design and I thought you know what this is exactly the component which we should be using hence I made that small change so in this video I will show you how the confirm pop-up works so let's say I'm trying to delete this record I click on that record I hit OK and that record is gone. Okay, so what just happened? Let's dive into the code. So inside the code, we have a route which is route a post request where we have patient slash delete. It is very similar to what we have for locations as well. If you see, right, I'm calling the destroy method inside the patient controller. It has a name as well, similar to what we had for locations as well. Again, a tip always try to follow a convention when you are working with a project so that it is easier for you to recollect what is the name or in some cases you don't even need to refer what was the name that you had given because if a standard is followed you would know what is the URL name going to be okay Anyways, so let's get into the destroy function inside our patient controller. So inside patient controller, the destroy function has injected the request object. In that we run the validation. We expect the ID to be present. Okay. Again, like the location controller, I am not checking whether the ID exists in the table or not, because if I do that, there will be one query to check that particular validation rule and then I'll have to again find that inside the code which means then I am firing the same query twice and hence what I decided is let's keep it simple I will just look for the ID and here I will have find or fail so if the ID came in and it is actually a false ID something which is not there in the database I'll still show an error okay so we are trying to find a patient with the ID which is coming and once we get that we delete that and once the deletion is happening we take the user back to the patient's list and that is the reason if you see the overall experience is almost as if it is getting deleted and the page automatically refreshes and so I click over here okay and then that record goes away and everything else remains as is right and we still have those 10 records now that we have looked at the delete functionality let's look at how we are handling the view and edit very similar to the locations we will have the same page for view and the form will work as the edit so if I click over here I have created this new record for you to show this example if I click on this eye icon I am taken to the form which was also used to add a patient so obviously you can see the title was kind of because I copy pasted everything it didn't get changed let me do that um, render function is here view slash edit I'm gonna do a quick review 
in some time of the entire application and ensure that you know the based on the ui everything is prominent but yes it doesn't require a video for that and that's why you know you may see some code changes all right so what we were looking at where if i look at this list of patients i click on view i see the patient's information which is fine and i can here do an edit for example it is jane so i'll do john doe let's just say this number is zero zero age is 50 and weight let's say it's he is very heavy so save okay but then we can see that the patient id doesn't change the name has changed phone number has changed okay this is something which i will have to work on but then if i click over here the age has also changed and weight has also changed right so the edit is working as it is supposed to do and that's how we are in handling both the view and the edit i can go back but then now let's look at the code quickly first let's look at the backend impl implementation because obviously the backend implementations are always very easy at least that's what i feel so patients controller we have this url which is patient slash update we are calling the update function the name is patients dot update as i told you it is obviously following the same conventions which is you know locations locations and then all the verbs similarly we have patients patients and then all the verbs okay let's go inside the controller inside the controller we saw the destroy method now we have the update method in here we have the request object we do the validation we have an additional field over here which is id now let me think we have this entire logic repeated twice we have this one two three four four rules over here and this four rules over here as well so what i can do is at least at the bare minimum let's create a private dollar rule equals an array and <clears throat> maybe what i will do is dollar this rules or is it rule rule i'll have to make it rules because it's not one rule it's a set of rules is gonna be this let's see okay should work and then what i will do is in here i'll do this rules and now my store function is even simpler and over here because i have this additional thing what i can do is dollar rule equals this rules that's fine and then rule okay i'll have to make an s over here as well rules id and then i'll just attach this this is the rule which i'm looking for with this in place i think we can simplify this as well so we have reduced quite a few lines of code but we need to see whether this is working properly or not i haven't written the test cases as of now so obviously we'll have to do manual testing patient uh, first of all the, this is fine this will obviously work but then we have dummy name phone number is what kind of validations do we have let's just see it says it needs to be 10 okay fine so yeah okay age 30 45 70 hit save this is coming in let's look at this 45 70 everything is fine and if i now make changes the other rule will come into picture correct so 45 becomes 55 70 becomes 80 hit save look at this and yes we get this thing which means this rule is working okay so we have simplified quite a lot of code now with this data we are passing it to the patient service update patient okay similar to what we were doing with create right if you see the create function was getting the patient data similarly i have update patient which has the patient data we first look for the patient we set all those properties 
this is where again the calculation needs to happen initially it was 45 but then when the age was changed i'll have to subtract that those many years from the current year to get the year when the patient was born okay it's a rough calculation but yes not rough i would say because um, from the age we can obviously deduce the year the month and the date will be required to get the exact thing but we are not going to do that we don't need that okay that's how the doctor work oh, at least in india so yes so we have the year we have the weight hit save and yeah that's about it so what happens is with this the controller gets i mean the call the service it was the patient is returned but we are not using it we are just returning the user back to the patient's list and that's why the user data when it is updated and hit save we immediately see that update on the listing page as well pretty simple stuff isn't it so as you can see the cruds are becoming quite easy i mean it's very similar kind of code so if you have created your basic structure once in a very efficient way then you know adding more entities and their cruds really becomes quite easy and we have already looked at the locations and the patients crud and even in the patient we have seen the pagination thing as well so we have covered a lot of ground now i'll go into you know quite a few implementation level details uh, when you know the patient information is being captured and let's say you know the appointments and stuff so yeah stay tuned for the next video if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel